Hey there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. I'm on a mountain and I'm feeling ever so jolly. What up man? <laughs> How about we battle? You and me! <laughs> oh my god, he's feeling jolly as well. So we're going to have a jolly old battle with this jolly old hiker who is called Bryce and he's got himself a Nummel which is jolly as hell. Well, I don't know, it might be jolly. It, lo it looks kind of sad to me, but what can you do? Fire and ground type Pokemon. I thought to myself, let's risk a bullet seed. That would be a great idea. Fire resists, uh, uh, resists grass. Ground is weak to it, so it's going to be a neutral hit. However, it doesn't do much. In the same vein, though, we get hit by an ember, which is also neutral, but then I've had enough. I'm not feeling jolly anymore. I'm feeling destructive. So Mosh Stomp is here to stomp around and destroy some fire camels. Bang! water gun and that would be one dead novel. We're on the road, here we go. Right, I'm ready. <coughs> right, um, yes, voice is going. Right, I'm back. He also has a Machop, which is always nice and lovely for Swellow because Machop is weak to flying and Swellow likes to eat flying type Pokemon for breakfast. I use that far too much. I don't know where I've got it from. I do actually. got it from Killer Nacho, but I'm sure he won't mind. Anyway, Machop is dead and that is a good thing. Now, I told you in the last episode that I was going to give you a bit of plot, a little bit more plot. Um, it really is only a tiny bit, because T-Mac was here. What up, man? Grumble. I'd like to ride the cable car to the top, too. Grumble. What happened to the others who went to Fall Arbor? They're late. That's all the plot you're getting. <laughs> yes, the, they've gone off a cable car, and they're at Fall Arbor. That's all you're getting, guys. But welcome to the Fiery Path. I hope this uh, makes up for the lack of plot. And the Fiery Path is a Fiery Path. It's a path which is fiery. And the good thing about the Fiery Path is you can get some fire Pokemon here called Nummel. If you did not pick Torchic and you wish to have a Fire-type Pokemon, then you should get a Nummel. Hey, Grimer. He's, he's going for the high five there. Don't leave Grimer hanging. He wants that high five. Oh, see you later, Grimer. But yes, if you want a Nubble, get one here, because it's the best place to get them, really, because they're everywhere. Huzzah! Enough of that cave, though. We're out here, and we've got some new berries. This is a Roust Berry. It's the, it's the first time we've seen a Roust Berry in its, in its, um, in its you know, tr on its tree form. Because we got one from the, uh, the flower shop. We got that one from that lady, remember? But it's the first time that we've seen it. Petra Berries, as ever, though, will cure us of poison. Roust Berries will cure us of burn. So again... It, it's, it's an awesome thing. I love berries so much because it saves on buying burn heals and, you know, awakenings and all that crap. So it is all good. We move on and I can't be bothered fighting any Pokemon today. But if you look down here, we have traversed the desert. That's the desert. We have traversed it. We have traversed the desert without actually traversing it. What a crazy world we live in. But we do have a battle here. Show me how much you've toughened your Pokemon. Oh, okay. Well, you're asking for it now, kiddo. My Pokemon are tough as hell. This is a cool trainer. I've never liked cool trainers because they always use cool Pokemon. They in uh, po in the first Pokemon game when you got to the Elite Four, well, not Elite Four, Victory Road. All the cool Pokemon trainers had cool Pokemon, and all I had was rubbish Pokemon like Spearow, which which is actually quite a good Pokemon, but not for late game. <laughs> Oh well, this Electrike does use uh, Thunder Wave on us and that will par paralyze us. It's a 100% paralysis move. It will always par paralyze you unless you're a ground type Pokemon because you uh, are immune to electric type moves. And that's why I bring Marsh Stomp in. He does get his defense lowered but it's no problem because Mud Shot will do it in one. Yes, Electrike, Electrike, however you want to pronounce it, is out of here. Goodbye. Oh well, I do like Electrike, he's, he looks pretty cool. But he also has a Whalmer, and I thought to myself, I might as well give Lombra a go. Now we could be fully fully paralyzed when we use uh, Lombra's Bullet Seed here, which would suck so much. We don't want that to happen. We use Bullet Seed, he uses Rollout, that's not going to do much damage. So we're okay with that. Now we're hoping for a fight for here. We get the one for free, don't we? We also get the two for free. But can we get the three for four for and five for? We get a three for. We got, we're hoping for a four for, guys. Can we get four for? Oh, we got the four. Can we get the five for the knockout? Boom! Straight shooting. Nice on Lombra. He's taken down Whalmer, and Lombra is feeling feeling good. Yes, 
Feeling good, Lombro, well done. 500 HP should give us a level up. It certainly does, and I am doing great. Oh, lucky Wilton. Oh, he's got one more Pokemon. He's got a Makahita. A Makahita fighting type Pokemon. We've not seen it since uh, June. Well, we've not seen it properly since Juford anyway. Juford Towns, uh, Brawly had uh, a Makahita, and we're just going to use a Wing Attack, and that should be it. Uh, no, we've seen quite a few Makahitas, haven't we? You know, the last tough one that we faced, yes, the last tough one. All the others have been weak. I see you've toughened your Pokemon considerably. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Now, uh, go change your hair colour, you crazy guy. You had green hair. Crazy. Anyway... Who's this guy? I'm thinking about making my own room here using the Pokemon Move. Oh, he's going to give us a TM, and he does. This is TM43, guys, and TM43, for all of those who don't know, is Secret Power. Now, he's going to be telling you what Secret Power does on the field. Um, all it basically does is it creates a secret base for you. When you use it on a tree like this, if your Pokemon uses Secret Power, it will create a base, and in the base you can uh, put all your Pokemon dolls, all of your Pokemon furniture you may have, you know, all kinds of uh, rubbish. It's like a house for you. But it also has in-game uh, effects as well, in-battle effects. And basically, it is a normal type uh, move. It's base 70, and it's kind of like Nature Power. Secret power, base 70 move, it's a normal type, however it has a 30% chance to add a random effect, a random second effect, well it's not random actually, the, uh, the secondary effect is based on where you are battling. For, so for example, if you're battling in a building, or if you're battling on a path, you have a 30% chance of paralyzing your opponent with it. If you're in a cave, you have a 30% chance of flinching your opponent. So it's kind of like secret power, and it is random to, a, to an effect because, you know, it, it's, it's, if you're battling here, it does this, if you're battling there, it does that. That's secret power for you. Now I'm just showing you that I could have put my Skitty doll any, anywhere in the secret base, however you need to actually put it on a table or a mat. So that's a shame, but there's secret bases for you. I hope you're, I hope you're happy with that explanation. Now if you come through here, you get something which uh, is pretty handy here. It's a rest house, and because this, this route to the next town is so long, you put this in the middle of the route, and you can rest up here as much as you want, which is awesome. Now be careful though, she will keep asking you and asking you if you want to actually um, rest up, so make sure you don't pr keep pressing yes continually. But let's watch television. Ha Gabby! Route 111, that's where we faced Gabby and Ty, wasn't it? Oh, Dan, that's my name! Oh, that, this is the uh, the interview that we had. Yeah, oh yeah, the battle does, but hmm, which Pokemon did we use? I can't quite remember. Perhaps it will tell us. Yeah, we're ruthless. What Pokemon did we use, though? I, I can't, oh, Marsh Dump and Lombra. There we go, see? Yeah, Marsh Dump and Lombra. What moves, though? What moves that? Mudshot, of course. I use Mudshot, and that is a sign of friendship, apparently. Crazy. And I said the battle was funny as well. Marsh Dump, Lombra, and funny. Yes, that is the report that was created after we battled Gabby and Ty. And I like that. I like the television reports. It's so, you know, insignificant. It's so tiny, but I like it. It's a nice little effect. But anyway, we have new berries. Uh, berries? <laughs> Who the hell's Barry? We have new berries here, and these are raspberries. And raspberries are um, specific poker block only berries. So, they'll, they'll, so we'll be using them to make poker blocks later. They have no other effect. But these ba berries do. Orange berries. I keep wanting to say berries. What's wrong with me? If anyone called Barry is out there, say hello to me in the comments. <laughs> but yes, orange berries will cure you of 10 HP, so which is which is pretty nice. But anyway, we have another battle here. Oh yes, I have to, I have to ask you for an engagement. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm too young to be married. Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, and and you're a guy. Yes. Oh, are you? Are you a guy? No, I think you're a girl. I'm sorry, I thought you were a guy. You're actually a girl. But anyway, <laughs> Wingle. Wingle uses a wing attack on us for the first time ever, and Lombra is shocked. It does use the Bullet Seed, but it doesn't really take much damage. Bullet Seed will do neutral damage on Wingle because it's a water and flying type, so that's why I kept it in. It did do free, to, uh, free hits, however, I'm not too confident that it will do free hits again, so let's hope so. Let's cross the fingers. We're hoping for free hits here. Yes, we get the free for Two free fers equals one dead Wingle. Hooray, unlucky seagull Pokemon. 
Any more? Any more for any more Brook? Yes, we do. We have a Rosalia. And Rosalia, grass type, poison type. So Swellow is going to eat it up right now, Rosalia. Poor Rosalia. All it is is experience for my darling Swellow, who is just a destructive monster of awesomeness. Look how cool it looks. I'm so happy with Swallow. I wish I had one for real. It would be awesome. I, 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 would, I would fly with it every day. But that's enough about me. We have one more Pokemon here and of course it's normal and we're going to use Marsh Dump. It's quite simply because Water Gun will kill it in one. And you can see here between Lombra and Swallow and Marsh Dump, I'm getting quite a good coverage here. Because basically, oh, I use Mud Shelf, that's different. But I get quite a good coverage here, because you can see I've quite easily switched from Lombra, and then to the next Pokemon Swallow, and then to, then to the next Pokemon Marsh Tom. So between three Pokemon, I cover quite a lot of bases, which makes me very happy indeed. Anyway, the route that's coming up now is quite a special route, 113. You'll notice the grass is kind of funny. And you'll also notice the prime Pokemon here, Spinder. Now Spinder, notice the spots on its ears and head. It will have two spots on its head and two spots on its ear, one on each ear. Now the significance of this is that due to its personality values, again personality values just like Wormpole, the spots on its head can be different, the locations of the spots can be different. So it may have a spot on its left ear one millimetre higher than the last spinder that we met due to the personality values of each spinder. And because of all the different personality values that spinder can have, there are so many different variations of spinder because you can have spots almost anywhere on the face and the ears. And there are so many combinations. In fact, I've written it down for you. There are actually 4,294,967,296 different variations of Spinder. Different variation of uh, facial patterns for Spinder. Again, something I find incredibly interesting, but something that you probably don't. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of trivia there. But we have a normal here, and Lombra doesn't really want to take on a normal because no, cause that would just take far too long. So we're going to bring Marsh Tomp in, and hopefully we are going to use Water Gun this time, because that's such a better move. We do get hit by Ember, we don't get uh, burnt or anything, so don't worry about that. We are going to use Water Gun now, and Water Gun will kill Nummel! Yes! More dead camels! No wonder the Nummels look sad. Look how sad they look with the eyes. Oh well. Anyway, Madeline. Huff, huff, I'm exhausted. Yes, yes, indeed you are. Go rest up. Anyway, this has an, this uh, route has another important thing going on with it. It has the Spinder, which is quite a special Pokemon, but it also has a secondary importance, and it's to do with the funny grass, which turns from brown to green when we run through it. I'd like to, I'd like to um, introduce you to the Soot Master. The Soot Master here... Um, will give us an item called the Soot Sack. And what we need to do is we need to run through grass. And every time we run through one grass square, we will get one soot. Now, the more soot that we collect, we can turn that soot into items. Quite useful items as well. He does turn it into furniture for you, and that costs something like 8,000 soot or something crazy like that, which I don't have any interest in whatsoever. What I do have interest in, though, is the flutes. Now, he creates five flutes for you. The blue flute, yellow flute, red flute, white flute, and black flute. We want the blue flute. The blue flute is just like the poker flute from the first two games. Well, I suppose the first game, because... On the second game, it was a radio card that you use. But certainly the first game had a poker flute, and that will cure any Pokemon you have of sleep. So basically, it's infinite awakenings, which is a great thing to have. The yellow flute will cure your Pokemon of confusion. It's situational, but it can be handy. I won't be getting it. The red flute will cure your Pokemon of infatuation, which can be caused by cute charm or attract. Uh, handy, but I'm not going to be using it. Now, the white flute will up the encounter rate. It will, it will make more, a wild Pokemon more likely to come and get you. Black Flute will do the opposite, it will lower the encounter rate. However, as you can see here, I don't have enough for the Blue Flute, so I think I may off-screen uh, me getting the rest of the Sut. However, we, I, I'm, I'm out of time. So, we're still looking for where Team Aqua is. We're still looking for the next gym. Where the hell are we? Well, the adventure continues next time on Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. See you later, guys.